One of the things I've really loved about this course this summer is the willingness for many of you to be participants in the discussion forums. And in those discussion forums, many of you have been sharing your homework assignments and looking at each other's work and complimenting and commenting on each other's work. But also many of you have been willing to ask some simple questions in the forums. And, and better yet, others of you have read those questions and helped provide answers. And so this little video actually is, is a response to one of those questions. Uh, the original question came in the discussion for homework number four so that if you if this is where you've already started building games and the person asked the question she said is it possible to build a game that we can pause right so the idea would be suppose I'm playing my fish chomp game here that we talked about in in lesson number four and I'm doing really well I'm getting a pretty good score and and the phone rings and I want to be able to to pause the game right now so that I don't lose the 14 points I have up here or whatever it is and my three lives uh, and, and yet I could go you know, answer the phone and then come back and, and keep playing again. And right now there's not. I either have to just sort of you know, leave the fish there and hope that the red spotted fish doesn't get me too many times or I have to hit you know, stop and when I come back I have to hit the green flag which starts over again. And that's not really optimal. That's not what I want to do. And so what this person was asking is, is it possible to pause the game? I have to admit, when I first read the question, I thought to myself, I'm just not sure there's a good way to do that. There, are, I knew a couple of tricks in the back of my head that you might be able to try, but I thought they might make the game a little more complex than it was worth doing. Uh, but fortunately, one of your classmates, Beth Coggs, went out and she discovered a solution by poking around on the Scratch website. She found a, a game or, or, or an animated story, really, more than anything else, by a user who goes by Jet underscore pilot where the title of jet underscore pilots uh, project that, that they had published was how to pause a game and so what this video is going to do is to use the solution presented there by jet underscore pilot uh, full credit to that to that author um, and and teach you how to pause a game and then I'm going to add a few tweaks to it to, to improve it just a little bit I think um, but but let's show you how this is done okay the first thing we're going to do if we want to add the ability to pause a game here is to come to the stage and add in a new variable. And so I'm going to make a new variable that I'm going to call just on. Right? And on is going to be a variable that is going to take on one of two values. A value of one I'm going to treat as meaning the game is on, the game is running. And a value of zero means that the game is off or the game is paused, really. Okay, and so that's the computer scientist in me. Normally we think of in computer science, you know, values of one are often thought of as true, values of zero are often thought of as false. And so since my variable is called on, right, true, one, means the game is on. False, zero, means the game is not on or that it's off. So what I need to do really quickly to set this up then is that when, when the green flag is pressed, we want to set on to a value of one because yes, the game is on. And then later I want to have the ability to you know, add in the, a, a pause feature. So I'm going to come over to my events and I'm going to actually add in two key press events. And I'm going to change this, uh, what, what jet pilot, jet underscore pilot proposed was we use A and B. A will pause the game which means we want to set on to zero, meaning on is false, it's, it's off. And then when B is pressed, we want to set it back to one again, right? So A will pause the game and B will start it running again, okay? So now we've added that feature in. And in fact, I can run this and you can see right now on is one. And if I press A, hit it hard there, it goes to zero, and, 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 and it didn't pause because I haven't told it to pause actually, but that's what it's going to do. And then B, goes back to on as one again. And so I can toggle the game on and off with this. Well, I need to actually create my, my characters here so that they respond to that key press. So I'm gonna go over to the shark and I'm gonna locate the block of code where I have the forever loop. And I really should, should emphasize that for a second right here. This solution that jet underscore pilot proposed is a solution that works really well with code that has forever blocks where the, where the various 
characters in your game do something over and over and over in a forever block. It's technically possible to adapt it for situations where there isn't a forever block, but it's gonna, uh, I wouldn't suggest it. So fortunately though, most of the games you produce are gonna have a forever block. If you think about it, both Wonky Kong and this Fish Chomp game had forever blocks. And really, all you have to do to, to, to make this work now is to take the code that was in the forever block and set it aside. Don't throw it away. I want this action again. But I want to do it only under certain circumstances, right? Right now, this says when the green flag is pressed, no matter what, forever, do this. Well, I actually want to change this a little bit. I actually want to say I only want to do this under certain circumstances. And so I need to add some additional control. So I'm going to go to control, and I'm going to drag out two blocks we just haven't really used in my lessons. Um, and so the first is the repeat until. The repeat until says do what's in this block over and over and over again until some condition is true. Right? That's different forever. Forever says do it over and over and over again always, no matter what. This says do this over and over and over again until some condition is true. Well, by default, when the game is running, I want this to happen. Right? When the game is paused, the on-off is going to switch from 0 to 1. And so what I'm going to do is say, I want you to keep doing this until that you find out that the on-off switch has moved from 1 to 0. And then once it's gotten to zero, it's going to stop repeating this, and it's going to come down here below the repeat. Well, then what I want to do is I say, OK, now I know that they've told me to pause. Now I want to keep waiting until the pause is over. And so in fact, there's a, there's a wait until block we can add on. And I can add on to that wait until block almost the exact same code. I can say wait here until the on value goes back to 1. Then once it goes back to 1, I want to come back here and I want to keep repeating this again until it changes to 0. Right? So do this until on is 0 and do this until on goes to 1. And so we keep that, we put that in the forever loop. And so really pretty, pretty basic. You take whatever was in the forever loop and you put it inside of this pairing of repeat and wait, and then place that back into the forever loop. Right? Really simple, really cool. I got most of that set up for my other fish. I need to real quickly finish this off. So we need to add the on uh, icon. It wasn't there before for all of these fish because I didn't have the on variable yet. So I'm going to add all of this in. I apologize that this takes a second, but there we go. We're going to add all this in. There we go. And so now every one of them, when the program starts, says do your main code until you go to pause, on equals 0. And then once it goes to 0, just hang out and wait and do nothing until on goes back to 1. And then we repeat. And so now I've got this ability to chase the fish around. You can see that the on bit is set to 1. Right? I can avoid the spotted fish. I can play for a while. And then bring, bring, my phone rings. And so I hit the A key. Right? Notice that everybody pauses. Right? No, I can move my cursor around. Nobody's following the cursor. And then when I'm, and again, I hit the A key, so on went to zero. And I can wait here until we're done. And then when I'm done with my phone call, I can hit the B key, and off we go again. We started right where we left off. Still have a score of 11, still have a score of, of three lives. And I can catch all of these fish. I can pause. And I can unpause using A and B. And so that's the initial version of this. I'm going to make a few changes to this in a secondary video, but I'll stop now since I think we've covered enough in one video.